Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The jet engine is a crucial component of most giant aircraft taking off and landing in all major airports today. It provides the thrust that propels aircraft into the air and generates the power to keep other systems of the flying machine running. Thanks to this revolutionary invention, traveling, transportation, warfare, and even sports have not remained the same. Jet engines typically have their fan blades inside the engine housing. They allow airplanes to attain speeds far exceeding what can be done by turboprop engine planes with external propellers. And while most technology, like computers, have gotten smaller down the years, jet engines have only gotten bigger. Of course, a lot of this has to do with the fact that the planes themselves are also getting bigger in order to maximize cargo and passenger capacity. To build these bigger planes and engines, some companies go into partnerships, bringing their capabilities together to produce outstanding results. For instance, in March 2018, General Electric and Boeing teamed up to stun the aviation world. They paired the world's largest twin-engine jet plane, the Boeing 777X, with the world's largest jet engine, the GE-9X, for the first time. The state-of-the-art high-bypass turbofan engine is roughly 14 feet by 14 feet and weighs 21,000 pounds. The front fan diameter alone measures 134 inches, with a thrust-to-weight ratio of 5 to 2 and the ability to put out 110,000 pounds of thrust. This is easily one of the most powerful and efficient engines ever designed. The GE-9X is the culmination of nearly 100 years of technological advancement. The first jet engines were being designed back in the 1920s, but didn't see actual flight time until 1939, when Germany introduced the Heinkel HE-178. By the 40s, America, the UK, and other countries all had jet projects underway. In America especially, the development has been astounding. The first jet engine plane flight took place on October 1, 1942, with the IA engine. Then followed the I-16 with 1,600 pounds of thrust, and the J-33 with 4,000 pounds of thrust, which first flew in June 1944 on a Lockheed F-80 Shooting Star aircraft. Since then, the engines have gotten bigger and stronger, but the fundamental principle has remained the same. Jet engines work by taking in cold air from the front of the aircraft using the rotating fan blades. From there, the air compresses and heats up in the combustion chamber, where it also mixes with fuel. As it moves towards the back of the engine, the hot air expands, is accelerated by the turbine, and expelled at high velocity through the nozzle. In more recent years, planes have been designed with movable nozzles, which allows for vertical takeoffs and other amazing maneuvers. As miraculous as the jet engine might seem, the design actually builds upon the very technology it replaced, the propeller. The propeller is one of the most important inventions in history. For hundreds of years, boats used sails and wind power to enable movement. This required complicated rigging systems, as well as multiple crew members and manpower. However, in 1839, the concept of the screw propeller for marine propulsion came into being, and before long, it was the preferred method of ship propulsion. And there has been little or no change in the way they are produced. Mm -hmm. 
believe it or not, ship propellers are still made in much the same way as they were back in the 1800s. First, a wooden propeller blade is constructed and shaped according to the size and specific angular demands of the desired propeller. Nowadays, these are milled by robots in order to maximize accuracy. From here, a sand mold is constructed using the measurements of the single blade. Molten metal, usually steel, is then poured into the cavity and allowed to cool. Once the metal cures, the sand mold is demolished. And the propeller is milled, ground, and polished to perfection before tested and mounted on a big ship. Of course, for every massive ship propeller out there, there are dozens of smaller props doing the same job on single-person boats, yachts, and other light vessels. These propellers are constructed in much the same way as their larger counterparts, just like here in this Yamaha factory. Since these propellers are much smaller in size, it is easier for the technicians to pound them into shape. Once attached to their respective engines, they spin at extremely high speeds, generating power according to the specific propeller pitch and the angle of the blades. Marine propulsion systems also, just like their air counterparts, have slowly been evolving from propellers to jets. For instance, there are water jet-driven boats that use a special impeller and multi-directional pump system to drastically improve their ability to maneuver. With minimal effort, these boats can reverse and turn in small circles. They are also fast, fuel-efficient, and versatile enough for pretty much any situation. Man's desire for speed and efficiency has facilitated the invention and development of true engineering marvels, including jet engines. These systems are slowly but surely changing the way we travel through air, land, and sea. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.